really important that we begin to change the mindset of young people to know that your vote counts. They don't understand that the legislative arm of government is actually a co-equal arm of government. We have an uh, incredible amount of potential. Whatever it is I was doing because of my personal DNA, it mm -hmm. had to be of an international standard. Which is what, seriously speaking, is all about. In just a few days, well, like seven days from now, there's going to be one spectacular show that holds in Lagos and it's held every year for the past five years. It's called Music Meets Runway. Now, this show is run by a young woman who I happen to know her father. Forgive me if I happen to only show people I happen to know, but that's life. It's what you know that you share. Now, the reason I'm focusing on this show and everything that has to do with family support today is to show that with the right support, the sky is not even the limit for actualizing your dreams. And my guest has been the brain behind what they call MMR today. It's Music Meets Runway. She's the first guest I have on the show. After that, you get to meet the reigning Mr. Universe. And these two people are shining because they have family that support them. Don't go away, we'll start with MMR. Yes, in times past on that show that's called Newsline on NTA, her father used to begin a show with, do you know where your kids are? And today I have on set with me the product of that careful father of that time, Frank Olize. Her name is Jennifer Olize. It's nice to have you on the show. Thank you. It's, I'm so happy to be here. You know, it's strange because I knew you when you were in diapers. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and now I'm you're so my guest. I'm, even I can get about the fact that you're so grown up, beautiful and talented. Oh, thank you so much. Mm. <laughs> in what ways did the fact that the kind of family that you came out from, in what way has it helped you be who you are today? I mean, I feel that my family background definitely improved everything. I mean, from the education that I was given to the morals, to the values, having a, a father like mine, he's very, very strict. He's strict in a nice <laughs> because way. Because you still live at home. Yes, I still live at home. <laughs> but he's, you know, very disciplined. We have curfews. We need to be home at certain times. We have to act certain ways. So, I mean, based on that, Going into the world, it made it easier for us to be able to, you know, live mm. as, 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 as a righteous person. But if there's one thing that you would like to tell people who are coming to see MMR this year, because I know that every year is different, what are they going to see this year? Oh, it's going to be fun, entertainment. It's five years anniversary, that celebration. So expect grand, expect beautiful, expect... Regal. I <laughs> regal. The dress code is regal. We want everyone to dress up. We're giving awards this year. So we want to have that feel of very prestigious. And, but all I can guarantee the audience is that they will definitely have a good time and they should get their tickets so mm -hmm. they can come. Okay, that's it. I'll let you do that. No problem. Yes. But I'll take a break at this point in time. And thank you, Jennifer, for being with us. I thank appreciate you. it. And uh, well, I'm going to, I've already shown clips of Daddy and clips of the magazine. We'll just buy your copy. <laughs> Be at the show, but more importantly, remember that family support is key to make you the best that you can be. We'll be back in a short while with Mr. Universe. Now I have a distinct pleasure to introduce this young man because I happen to know his mother, you know, and I know when he started the desire or the dream to become what he is today. He's currently the Mr. Universe for Nigeria, and when he became Mr. Universe, it was with total family support. And that's the focus of our discussion with Mweiwa, Mweiwa Omoshala. Come on, on set, let me see Mweiwa here, because I want you to car walk. Car walk and take your seat, that's the way to go. That's it. Is that the way you won the competition? <laughs> yes. No, you can't get up, you have to hug auntie. Because to show you I'm your auntie. Hi, nice to see you. Okay. Now, this young man, maybe I will allow him to show his buff. Like that. Oh, go on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sit down. It's nice to have you on the show. Thank you. And you're still a student? Yes, I Let's am. Let's first establish that. Yes, I How am. How old are you? I'm 24 years old. Now, when you decided that you were going to run for Mr. Universe, I know you're a fitness buff, right? What was the, what was the reason you decided to do that? Um, I had actually been working out with a plan to do something this year. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. Um, I actually wanted to do something in TV. Yeah, so... But um, the opportunity came, I, I came across the 
ad for the Mr. Universe Nigeria on Instagram, mm -hmm. and then someone said I should try out for it, and I just picked up the phone. So the bottom line is, for you, you have a desire to be in entertainment? Yes, yes. Now, how Definitely. does that happen to a child who the mother is so quiet, the dad is a medical doctor, the mother is a civil servant, you are the first son? Did you feel like, maybe I shouldn't be thinking like this? Yeah, it's, um, there's always the pressure of um, being the first son. You always have to be the one to lead and mm -hmm. um, your siblings have to follow and all that. So, But I've always wanted to just be in entertainment. Um, at first, I started with music, but that didn't really pan out. Why you were in high school? You, yes. were, you were in an all boys high school, you were in white sons, yes, yes, right? Yes, I was in white sons. And while there, you tried to play music or what? Yes, I was. Um, well, we had a few music bands in school. There was the Bonafide Crew, mm -hmm. and they were like my seniors in school, and they were a bit of inspiration and all that. So, um, entertainment has always been a place of interest for me, basically. But what about education? How important is that, too? Education is very important, actually. It's. It's necessary, but I mean, Did you know this always, or is in recent times you started thinking like, I just wonder, because we worry about our children, you know? No, I've always known education is important because if you want to be anybody in, in this life, you have to have education. You have to have that background. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a good launching pad because at the end of the day, um, through education, you get to socialize, you meet different people and all that. So at the end of the day, it's just all about um, doing the right things that society demands and then going further to do whatever you want to do. I just wonder, though, in all of that, in what ways do you think the fact that your parents supported you may have gotten you there? And again, the fact that you also take your education quite seriously, you know? Um, I, I believe it was, it actually went a very long way because um, with the parental support, there were many things that, I mean, even on my own, I don't know how I'll be able to pull them off. Like? Like, I mean, um, getting from place to place, um, running, because we had different tasks to do while we were in camp. Mm -hmm. We had to sell tickets, so, and my mom actually helped a lot in that in aspect. getting that done. She's a very good marketer, so <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So there was an advantage. So you, yes, you, the yes, advantage, yes. what did it feel like coming out and seeing your parents in the audience? Were you scared? Um, no, actually, I was, I was at peace, because um, for the first time, I, I felt really connected to my family because of the kind of support I got. And, my mom told me that before I go on stage, at any point, I should just say... Um, Three Hail Marys. No, one Hail Mary, actually. <laughs> just one Hail Mary. And it actually worked. You? Yeah, I, every, every time I was going to go on stage, just before I step on stage, I say the Hail Mary, and then I'm, I'm just fine. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take a break, and then I'll come back with your mom to discuss on the panel, because I had to force her to do this. Uh, yes. But it just shows how much she loves you for her to agree to come and do this on TV. And for us, it's to give examples to parents to see that really and truly, if you're behind your child 100%, you can achieve success. So if you don't go away, we'll be back with Moiwa and his beautiful mother, who is a great marketer. Well, it's nice for me personally, it's nice to see guys also strut, like they make women strut for beauty pageants. But it's just that for things like Mr. Universe, is how fit they are, that they're looking at. I'm back here with Mr. Universe, the current Mr. Universe, with his mother, Elizabeth. We call you Lizzie, yeah. or Lizzie. <laughs> Elizabeth Omashola, you know, but before I get to you, Elizabeth, I would like them to show me that's your buff body. When did you start building that body? Um, I've were... been working out for about eight years, but I only started... You mean you were like 14 or 15? Yes, but I, I started seriously at um, the beginning of this year. So what did you used to work out with? Did you used to like carry bucket? What did you, what did you used to work out with? Just normal... Wait. Uh -huh. Did you buy for him? No. I actually Joined fashioned out my own weight initially, exactly. initially with like cement <laughs> and... Yeah. Because my sons did the same thing. Cement and the... And the pole, yes. And the pole. And it worked. So now, but did you always know this boy was that inclined? Not really. But did you have a suspicion? They say mothers have a way of knowing these things. Somehow, I know that he's, he has a passion for things like this. What is the lesson that you take away from all of this that you think people can learn from, Lizzie? For me, I think parents should learn to support their children in whatever they want to do. Like, for, in my own family, when he came up to say he wanted to go in for this competition, I ran it through every member of the family. I spoke with his sisters. I just wanted to have everybody's opinion. Mm. And my first daughter said something then, that, Mom, there's something I like about the Western world. When their children are doing anything, even if it's just 
folding paper, as little as folding. The parents will be there, the grandparents will be there, they will be there cheering the children, them. So they'll support them. Important. So for me, I feel parents should support their children in whatever they want to do. And for you, because you still owe us something, you still owe us a degree. Yes, yes, I definitely. mean, you know, what's the lesson for other young people? Um, I just believe that, um, especially with the issue of parents, um, you always have to be on the same page with your parents. Yes, you, because at the end of the day, their blessings will only take you further. So once you have that support, you, uh, you, I mean, the sky is the limit for me. Yeah. Thank you very much. I wish you well. You. I wish you all the best. And thank, thank you, you for thank coming you. to this show because of your song, because you hate television. Well, we appreciate it. Thank and thank you. you for watching. We'll see you again next week. Bye.